This is one of the cheapest, most easy to use kitchen RV accessories. When we had our house, we regularly used about once a week a crock pot. We had a crock pot, I think it was a six quarter, it was a pretty big crock pot. You know, we would cook chili or some type of meat in it or maybe spaghetti sauce all day. But since we moved into the RV, we had to downsize to a smaller crock pot. Uh, we have this tiny little Betty Crocker crock pot. We got it on sale at Target for uh, about $10, brand new. And uh, we use it all the time. You know, we're hooked up to about the power about 50% of the time every month, so about 15 days. And in those 15 days, we try to cook as much stuff in it as we can. That way we can use those cooked foods when we're off of the grid. Today we're cooking pork chops. Uh, this is a new recipe. We basically just had some pork chops, threw them in there. Uh, I cut up a carrot, some celery, a jalapeno, um, and an onion or half of an onion and mixed it in there with a little bit of orange blossom um, balsamic vinegar. So uh, it smells pretty good. It's been doing uh, really, you know, this is like a type of one of those recipes that we do fairly often where we just try out new things. Sometimes they come out okay, sometimes they don't. Uh, we'd like to cook it on low when possible. I think the meat does a little bit better. And uh, we just have a low and a high setting. A high reduces the time to about half. So, you know, this is about an eight hours. We have about an hour to go. One thing with the crock pot is not to open it. When you open it, you lose all that trapped heat. Uh, so we really try not to open it until we get close to the end. So we have about an hour to go, so we're gonna leave that. But I did wanna show you uh, how the power works on this. Uh, I was a little worried these were gonna be kind of power hungry devices. So I have a kilowatt here uh, to measure the wattage and we'll try to zoom in on that. Get a zoomed in and focus. There we go. So you know we got 119 vo volts coming out of the wall right now. Uh, that's good. I have it on low. So over in amps we're drawing less than half or right at half an amp. 0.56 and that comes out to 67.5 watts so very little power on low now granted you have to run this about you know six to ten hours depending on what you're cooking but uh, I'll go ahead and show you when we shut it off we're gonna drop down to zero and then boot up it really doesn't go much higher than uh, you know the 65 68 uh, watts there so on high, I think it's going to go up into the 80s or 90s. There we go. Maybe right about not. There we go. 95. So it's only pulling 95 watts uh, on high. And high, you know, the cook time would be about four hours. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm confident that I would be able to do this off of a very small inverter or maybe even off of a solar um, feed via an inverter and charge controller. So in summary, I highly recommend adding a crock pot uh, to your staple of kitchenware. And in the future, I'm going to try to run this off a solar panel or an inverter uh, when we're off grid and see how well that does. I I'm confident with what I've seen here on the, the meter, the kilowatt meter here, that I'd be able to run this at least on high, I think for a few hours uh, without draining the batteries too low. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and stay tuned for more adventures of Live the Odyssey.